and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I want to talk about first replacements on your e-bike. So recently, I had someone asking me uh, a little bit about e-bikes and, and what expenses you would have. And it's kind of hard to say because things can crop up just like anything else, right? Things can happen, but in general, there's two things that come to mind that you're going to need to replace sooner than later. And those are, first of all, the tires. Depending on the quality of tires you get on your bike, most of the bikes do not come with the greatest tires in the world. They don't last long. So you can look at having to replace them anywhere from, heck, my uh, aerial rider Grizzly, I had to change out the tires at like 750 miles or something like that. So it, uh, it came up pretty quick like they didn't last long they were they were not good tires i gotta say they were uh, not good at all they wore down so quickly and the other one that was pretty quick was the uh and i haven't replaced it yet but the back tire i need to replace on the rad rover and that got me about i believe there's 800 or a little over 800 miles on that so you can see that anywhere seems like anywhere from 750 on you can look at the possibility of having to replace your tires then it comes to this bike here that I'm riding right now the Lyric Graffiti and this bike I've gone over 1100 miles and I'm still on the original tires so these tires I would have to say are a little better than the ones I got on the other bikes so I like these tires not bad. I mean, they're still going to have to be replaced uh, within uh, the next little bit here, but so far so good. And that's, like I say, passing 1,100 miles on the bike. And uh, the other thing that you're going to have to replace, uh, maybe even before the tires, it's, it's hard to say because it depends on how hard you use them, and that's the brake pads. Brake pads will be uh, another thing that you'll have to uh, replace. And funny thing is, just recently here, not long ago, I replaced the uh, the Aerial Rider uh, Grizzly uh, pads. What a difference uh, it makes when you put new pads on. But this bike here, that I'm riding right now, the Lyric Graffiti. I don't know when I'm going to need to put new pads on it because it has regenerative braking, and I always find myself using that almost exclusively. Very rarely, if I need to come to a sudden stop and the uh, regen braking isn't stopping me quick enough, then I'll I hit the handbrake. But otherwise. Uh, I will probably have to replace the pads for uh, who knows how long. That's the nice thing too about regen braking, you save your brake pads. So those are two of the things that are going to come up. If you uh, know of another thing that's going to crop up that I uh, may have missed or something, but those are the two that come to mind for me. But if you know something else, let me know in the comments and share it with everybody what you think is going to uh, be something that's going to have to be replaced. Uh, but those are the two expenses uh, besides buying the bike after buying the bike that you can expect. Like I say, probably about 750 miles on, depending on the quality of the tires you get and how much... Uh, uh, what, depending on the terrain you ride on, I suppose, too. But um, one thing 
Now that we're on this topic that I would like to uh, mention too is about tires. Now I don't know the reasoning for this, but I never see anything on when you buy a bike, an e-bike, where they tell you your tires, how long they'll last, how many miles you'll get out of the tires. It'd be kind of a, a cool thing, I think, if they would add an approximate mileage that you may get out of your tires, you should get, you know, so you kind of have an idea before you buy the bike, but I'm not sure why that is, why they don't tell you. Uh, whenever you read descriptions on the bike or the specs, there's nothing that says about the tires. It just says that they're all-terrain tires or whatever, but they never tell you you can expect approximately, you know, just give us uh, an approximate number, maybe something, you know, in a ballpark. Uh, so we can kind of uh, have an idea. Like for example, I've got E Huntsman tires on the uh, on the uh, Aerial Rider Grizzly now, and I don't know how many miles I can get out of those, but they they look like there's something that's going to last forever. Um, they have lots of tread on them, and that's what the new Lyric uh, Graffiti X is going to have on it. It's going to have those E Huntsman tires. And I wonder if you can get 3,000 miles out of those maybe, I don't know. But uh, be interesting to, uh, if uh, companies would put that down though. But like I say, I never see that though. Maybe uh, some companies are listening and they could include that in their specs in the future. I don't know if it's just me or if you would also be interested in something like that. I'm thinking more for two for the first time buyer that doesn't know a whole lot about the bikes and stuff. You know, you might want to know approximately how many miles you'll get out of your tires. I mean, they tell you how far range you're gonna get out of your battery, so why not? So if you have a comment on the video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Maybe you have something to add as far as what can go wrong or what will not to go wrong, but what will need to be replaced on your bike. Uh, some of the first things. <laughs> 